we're going to look at finding terms in arithmetic sequences and these are the terms we had in the first video but a couple of them are not relevant so we're finding the value of a term that is one of the numbers in the sequence we're going to do it in terms of n the number along a the value of the first term and d the difference between the terms so an arithmetic sequence well that's one where there's a common difference between the terms and that can include subtractions so the first one's going up in fours the bottom one's going down in tens no difference between adding and subtracting in terms of how we answer the questions and the formula we use which is given to us is this and I'm going to show you how we use it so our question might say what is the 20th term in the sequence well we find it out like this so we take a our first term put it in its position we are 20 along so n is 20 and the difference between each term is 5 adding 5 each time so the d and that's a multiplication is 5 and we stick that into our calculator and we get the 20th term along has a value of 135 one more time what's the 50th term in this sequence well the start value in our formula is 12 we are asked to find 50 along and we're going down in twos so the difference is negative 2 we stick that in our calculator and the 50th term is minus 86 this whole process can also be done in reverse which is largely at merit level the formula is still the same we just try to find n rather than the term so for example a question might look like this how long does it take before that sequence gets to 100 well as before we fill in the values in our formula but this time we asked how long does it take to get to 100 so the term along is, has a value of 100 our starting value is still 4 how long is n so that's what we're attempting to calculate and the difference between each term is 3 have to do a bit of algebra and we get that the distance along is 33 you can as often as not guess and check these as long as you can write the formula in the first place so here we have it we use this formula when we have a sequence constant differences we can tell that because it's got the d and we want to find either value of the term in along or how long it takes to get to a value 